Hello, Scorpio viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and more importantly, what action they might be taking towards you over the next, I'd say, maybe week or two. Um, with these readings, sometimes your guides will just come through with messages for you, so it's not always... I try to stick to the questions at hand, but sometimes the cards will just tell you what they want to tell you. Um, but I am going to try to, to focus um, the energy towards that those specific questions. So, all right, so for my Scorpio viewers... For my Scorpio viewers, what is your person, and this could be an ex, this could be a current partner, a new partner. I feel like you have something good coming in. I feel like you're ex like you have something to be excited about. I don't know if you're aware of it or not yet, but I do feel new love coming in, so that's good. It's either someone you just met or someone you're about to meet. Um, all right, for my Scorpio viewers, what do you need to know about your love life? Like, what is your person thinking, feeling? Show me what you need to show me. Okay, I guess I'll just go with those cards that I've got stuck at the bottom. Spirit does what it wants. <laughs> Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords, or no, Eight of Pentacles, sorry. Five of Swords, Ten of Cups, interesting. The Star, ooh, that's good. Page of Swords, Strength. Page of Pentacles. So you have some, you have some messages coming in here. Um, you might have a job offer or something connected to work. You have the Three of Swords here also. I feel like it's a good reading, though. I do get good energy from this reading, so don't freak out because the Three of Swords is there. <laughs> Just hold on. <laughs> With this energy, I almost feel, I feel like this reading, this this particular spread, I feel like it's really related to both, um, like, work and finances and um, love as well. I feel a lot of new energy, so I think that you have a lot of really good things coming to you right now. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, I kind of take it as... It's like you're learning new skills and you're persevering and you're being patient. Might be studying under someone. Maybe you have a mentor. Um, this could just be, you know, you focusing on, on work and career and your hobbies and maybe art and just the things that you want to do. Um, you're, you're committing to yourself. You're committing to the things that you want. You're, you're persevering. You understand that you have to have faith um, in yourself and in your skill set. Sk skill set. You know, you're taking the steps. You need to be a master in whatever this is, whether it's art, music, whatever field this is. Um, and I, I see it almost as mastering your life. Like you're you're in this energy where you're just manifesting the kind of life that you want. And with the Eight of Pentacles here, I kind of feel like, I mean, there is this energy of like studying and learning new things. There's this very new, fresh energy here. But I also feel like it's kind of just telling you that you are in this period where you're manifesting whatever you want in your life. Um with with money, with hobbies, with career, with all your passions and dreams, those are manifesting right now. Um, and with love too, I do feel love coming in. I feel like you have this admirer around you. Um, I just feel this new energy. So I feel like this is either someone that you just met recently, or it's someone in your energy field that's going to be meeting you in the near future. And they're noticing this Eight of Pentacles energy about you. They notice that you're strong and confident. This could be someone that you know at work, possibly, because just with this energy I'm getting, it's somebody that just kind of admires your strength and your perseverance and your ideas and your passion. Um, they're really noticing that, and they see you as someone that, that could be, you know, a potential partner for them for sure because they, you know, it's kind of like a power couple almost. They're like, wow, this person is is so motivated and they're so independent and they're so you know devoted to their passion they're just they see this 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 your spirit they just they notice your spirit when other people aren't really noticing it they are noticing it and i feel like with the five of swords here it's kind of like jealousy like you probably get men or women or whoever you want more than that, like i feel like these people are coming to you are going to start coming to you because you're manifesting love in your life and you're confident and you have some people around you that are jealous, that are noticing that you're manifesting these good things in your life, and they want a piece of that cake, um, and they kind of want to drag you down. You might have some fake friends around you, 
that are actually kind of jealous of you and not saying anything or this could also be co-workers that are annoyed that you're about to get promoted and they're not getting promoted um it's it's that kind of energy it's like where someone around you is jealous of you but but you know you're you're good you're look at her like this girl is so look at the five of swords she's so hostile and angry and jealous and bitter and you're just in your power you're just doing your own thing you're like this this fairy queen over here you're just doing your own thing you don't even care about this woman you're just jumping right over her you're jumping right over her to the ten of cups which is you know completion when it comes to love this is like finding your person finally or you know if you're already in a relationship like getting to the next step of your relationship like a marriage commitment or some kind of proposal or or just some type of new commitment some new there's there's just this new energy like you're in this transformation phase and you're about to have this new energy for a lot of you i feel like you've been dating or you've been wanting to find the right one and you're about to do that um so again you're just you're ignoring this five of swords energy this these fake friends or coworkers or jealous people that are that are like why is she manifesting this and this and this and i'm not you're ignoring them you're above them um you're above that that energy you're above that hostility you're not going to give it the time of day anymore um and you're jumping right ahead the ten of cups which is cups have to do with love and so the ten that's like the that's like the final at least with the the minor arcana cards that's like the it's like you found your person it's not like the nine of cups where she's you know in this deck it's like a girl looking away from a frog it's like she hasn't found her prince charming yet this is like no you found that like you're getting the marriage proposal or you get you're getting the honeymoon phase or you're getting the the new relationship or whatever it is you want in love so it's joy and happiness and finally getting to where you want and um and you you are a very powerful manifester you've really been planting the seeds and with the star it's like you have hope and faith and you have this light about you like you have a, a confidence and a light about you the the opposite sex especially or whoever if you're a lesbian or gay then, then the same sex it's 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 whatever resonates for you um the other people just notice it they notice that energy about you and with the star here it's like and you're like you're mysterious and seductive too you have that energy and with the star here yeah you you you're in this light energy and you've been planting seeds for a while and manifesting what you want and you are putting I, I feel Okay, so for the Page of Swords in this reading, I feel two different energies. For I feel maybe maybe a couple different definitions because you know each card can have more than one definition in any given reading. Um, this is your your energy and your passion and your enthusiasm. You're just you're excited. You have all these new ideas. You know you've been planning this for a while and you've been manifesting it. And even if you're like not fully experienced with it, it's like you're willing to learn, like you're studying, you're studying something. This could be school or work or like a career change or or it could be music or art. There's just something that you're like studying and, and giving a lot of your time and passion to. And um, it's really manifesting for you. It's going to I feel like I feel good about it. And again, you have people that are jealous of you. So you're, you're doing something right. If you got people that are that jealous, you must be doing something right. Um, and so yeah the page of swords is referring to that energy and that passion you know what i mean it's like you're just you're ignoring the five of swords you're above all that and i feel like someone around you again this is somebody in your energy field so it might be someone watching you like someone like at work or school or somewhere or it could also just be someone that you're going to meet in the near future i just feel like a new energy so this could be like present energy like maybe within the last few weeks or so or it could be coming in the near future i just feel that that new fresh energy with this person um they're really turned on by you like they're really they're admiring you from afar right now um there and you've probably been manifesting them too i feel like you've been putting in like the affirmations and stuff to manifest your right person like manifest someone that's actually going to be on your level and like not be intimidated by your strength and your confidence and your passion and all that energy that most other men or women are intimidated by like this person is actually going to get that about you and they're going to be turned on by it like i just sense like the page of swords it's like it's this woman who's just who's or or man who's just passionate and energetic and enthusiastic and excited and it's like she kind of just dives in it's like she's not worried if she lacks the experience she's not worried if um if she hasn't learned or mastered everything that she needs to master she just she just has this this beautiful courage and this willingness to try new things and to step out of her comfort zone and you know put her ideas all out on the table and um 
you know, she's just, again, she's just not worried about her lack of experience because she knows who she is. She knows what's in her heart. And someone is watching that woman and she, he's, he's impressed. He's like, he's, he's like, wow, she's like, she's feisty. She's courageous. She's not, she's not holding back. She's not worried about what people think. She's going to go after what she wants. You know, he's really, he's really impressed by your strength. And I think another meaning of this card is that you might be, you've probably been manifesting, um, a message from somebody you've probably been trying to telepathically manifest a message and this could be like it's almost like a strong passionate fiery kind of message it's like it's something that gives you clarity it's something that like it could be like closure or something or it's just something that like makes things more clear to you um it could also be a job offer. I feel like a lot of you might be getting, like, you're leveling up when it comes to career. So I feel like you might be getting promoted or getting a job offer or um, just taking your music or your art or whatever it is you do to the next level now. And yeah, with the Page of Swords, you might be manif you might be getting a message, and this is a manifest. This is a message that you've been manifesting. This is an offer that you've been manifesting, and you're you're gonna see. You're starting to finally see the abundance in all areas of your life, and you're a very strong person. And this per your your person that's watching you sees that. And with the Page of Pentacles, again, I feel like see this see this woman is a manifester. You see her. She's like looking at this energy, like this this glowing, um, like. It's like she's got flowers and light in her hand and it's like she's like maybe doing Reiki or something. It's like she's just she's like mastering energy like she's really good at energy work whether she knows it or not. And she's manifesting something in her life. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, I think that this could also be another message coming in that has to do with money or work or something of that nature. And with the Three of Swords here, I actually feel like this is you getting over a, a past heartbreak. I feel like maybe someone kind of put you down and, like, made you quite, like, question yourself a lot. And, like, with this new energy that you're manifesting, it's kind of like you're telling your ex exes to just go F themselves. You're like, yeah, you messed me up, but guess what? I have this new man now that's, like, a million times better than you were and he actually knows what he wants and he's here for me and he's he's giving me what you are not giving me or she is giving me what you're not giving me um you know same with like job and career and like all this stuff it's like you got your heart broken by these fake people by these jealous people by these bitter insecure people that wanted to drag you down to their level and you're healing it basically by being confident and being in your power and manifesting the life that you want and I'm not going to lie, you're going to be a bit cocky for a little bit. You're going to be shoving this shit in their faces. That's what I feel. <laughs> it's good, though. It's a really good reading. It's probably one of the best readings I've gotten so far for the Zodiac signs. If this reading is resonating with you, please um, like, share, subscribe. Um, it, it does help me. It, it helps you to promote my content when I, when I get more likes and comments and that kind of thing. It, it shows people that... Um, it shows YouTube that my content is being engaged with, so it, it promotes my, my videos more. All right, so let's see. What do you want to tell me about this new love that's coming in? For my viewers that are watching this, what do you... Okay, we got that card. What can you tell me about this new love that's coming in? Okay. Seven of Swords. The Chariot. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> the Hierophant. Hierophant in the house. Five of Cups. The World. Three of Cups. That's good. Ace of Swords. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Mm. It feels good. It feels good to me. It does. It feels like new good energy. I, I like it for you guys. You know, the seven, I'm looking at the seven of swords, and a lot of times it does mean, like, dishonesty and running away um, from problems and just trying to escape, just trying to, trying to run away from something. And so, for some of you, it could mean that, but for a lot of you, 
I feel like it actually means that you're running away from something that you should be running away from. You're running away from things that are holding you back. You're running away from, like, look at her. She's just kind of holding her hands up in the air. She's saying, fuck it, come at me. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not going to let the haters get me down. Um, and she's she's not holding back anymore. She's not gonna she's not going to sugarcoat things anymore. She's not going to hold back who she is to make other people comfortable or happy. She's she's committing to being her true self, her true unapologetic self. And that energy right there is what's about to bring you the love of your life because you're being yourself and your soul is in your light is just shining through. And It's, it's, it's pinging in the right person and you're running away from all the bullshit and you're running towards the chariot, which is driving you forward towards love, towards abundance, towards career success, towards all the things that part of you in the back of your head thought you could never have, but you, you're seeing, you're about to be seeing now that you can have those things. You finally can. And I feel like this reading, like I said, I I felt it before I, before I started this reading. I'm like, you know what? My, your guides are going to tell you some shit. And I'm going to ask the questions I ask, but your guides are going to come in and be like, no, nah, this is what we're going to focus on. <laughs> but So I'm sorry. I intended it for this to be more of a love reading, but your guides came in and started saying what they want to say to you. But but there is love in this reading. There is a, there is a, there is a new person in this reading who is going to love you for who you are. He is, like I said, he or she is going to be turned on by all the things that weaker people were intimidated by. Like your honesty, your your willingness to be vulnerable and to just be your true self, your passion, your ideas. Like this person, like you're just, you're so creative. Like you just, you think outside of the box and it took you a long time. Like you really had to commit yourself to yourself for a long time to get into that energy of just, saying fuck it and just, you know, I'm going to be myself no matter what. I'm not going to be held back anymore. And with the Hierophant, it's like you've you've got, um, with the Hierophant and the Five of Cups here, it's kind of like you've got like, I mean, you might have, you do have spirit guides around you, but it's, it's also saying like these are like traditions and like rules and like controlling figures and like authority figures and societies. This is like society. This is institutions. This is like, you know, people saying you need to, like, family, friends, institutions, society, just, just these energies saying you have to do, you have to be married by 30, you have to do this, you have to live your life this way, you have to go to school and be a doctor or a lawyer, and you're like, no, I don't want to do those things, I'm not, that's not me, you know what I mean? It's like society telling you, like, or someone particularly telling you, like, just kind of holding you back and trying to get you to be normal, and you're not normal. And you're finally saying, F them, I'm not normal, I'm not going to pretend to be normal. And you're in this Five of Cups energy where you're you're letting that ship sail away. I don't know if you can see the little ship over there. It's like she's sitting there watching it. She's, you know, she's, she's cutting ties with it. She's kind of sad about it. There might have been some people that you didn't really want to let go of, but you realized you had to let go of to, for, to you know, you're putting yourself first finally. You're realizing sometimes you've got to let go of these people. Or these these ideas. This could also be ideas sailing away from you, like like ideas and beliefs and negative thinking and just just people, situations, just energy that's holding you back. You're letting it sail away from you. You're letting it be cleared away, and you're you're kind of nostalgic and a little sad watching it go. But you're like, this is for the best. You're sitting there. You're not chasing it. You're not trying to do that to yourself anymore. And then we got the world card here, which I, to me is all about. It's this cycle that you completed. It's like you're achieving your dreams, your your goals, you're celebrating, you're, you're a whole different person and you've learned so much and you're taking control of your destiny. You're just, you're merging with your soul. It's like all these different parts of yourself, like logic, intuition, emotion, they're all like just merging now and you're becoming yourself more and more because you're staying true to yourself and you're not willing to sacrifice yourself for anyone or anything ever again. And so you you have these dreams that are going to be fulfilled finally. You have these, you know, it's a time to celebrate. You're finally getting to where you want to be. And you've got the Three of Cups. So again, more celebration. This is this is you, I feel. Like the creative creativity, the weirdness, the out-of-the-box thinking. The It's like Alice in Wonderland themed here, you see. You've got all the cats and the rabbits, and she's having a little tea party with herself. And she's just having fun. It's just her out in the woods having a tea party with these cats and rabbits. And she's like, fuck it, I'm having fun. Um... I feel like you're someone who swears too. 
because I, I've said I've said fuck it a lot in this reading and I don't usually swear quite that much but I feel like I feel like the group I'm channeling is very honest and I feel like they don't mind so much <laughs> but it's you it's like you're out in the woods you're with the cats and the rabbits and the the tea party out in the woods and you're just you're just doing you you're not you're not held up by society's standards anymore this is this is a beautiful energy it's almost like if you want to wear corset dresses or dress goth, you're going to do it. If you want to wear 80s clothes, clothing, you're going to do it. If you want to dye your hair pink, you're going to do it. If you want to, you know, write weird songs that make no sense to anyone, you're going to do it. You're going to go skydiving. You're going to do, you're going to jump off that cliff. You know what I mean? It's amazing. It's such a beautiful, passionate, free-spirited energy that I'm getting from this reading. Um... And it's like, yeah, you're just doing you. It's so beautiful. And you just, again, just stay true to yourself. And you're going to have the right person finally because of that energy. And you've got the Ace of Swords, which is a new start that's going to bring about clarity. And I feel like the Ace of Swords is like you being in your queen power or your king power. It's like you have this sharp mind. You have this newfound clarity. You have like this, this warrior spirit, you know, like new vision power. Um, you're just so strong and you're so, you're just so true to yourself finally, or you're getting to this point where you're true to yourself and you're letting all the, the negativity and the haters and all that bullshit go. Um, and it's just, it's such a beautiful energy. So let me see if I can actually get something about your person. <laughs> That's still really good energy though. Like I said, you're, you're getting true love. So, so be happy. Um, Okay, so what can you tell me about, so for the group that is watching this, what can you tell me about their their person? What is this, this new energy that I feel that's coming in for them, this new love? Again, current energy, so maybe within the past month or so, or maybe like in the near future, like you've manifested it, it's coming. Um, what can you, okay, I guess we'll take all this. Why not? What can you tell me? I feel like you're silly too. Get that vibe. <laughs> it's good though. It's good. It's a good silliness. I like it. Um, what can you tell me about love? So what is this new person going to be like? Um, I don't want that card. I want, what? No, no. I want that card. I want that card. <laughs> Okay, it came out upside down, luckily, so it's it's not chaotic. <laughs> it's more stable. They're going to be more sure of you. Um, again, you've been focusing on this. You've been manifesting. You're a very powerful manifester, so you're manifesting the life that you want. And they're going to be focused on you, too. They're going to be like... I get the energy that, of someone who is going to be eaten out of the palm of your hand, is what I feel. It's It's someone who's... They have a nice smile. I can see them in my head. I can see them. This might be just true for one person, but I see someone like who might be have short blonde hair and they've got a nice smile. But I th again, I think that's only a specific message for one person. Probably someone who's sitting here being like, oh, is this the person I'm thinking of or is it not? Probably just for you really quick. Um, and I see them wearing a, are they at work? I don't know. They're like in a building, like an office or something. Hmm office building I don't know it's interesting anyway they're gonna be focused on you and they're gonna be all about you they're gonna they're gonna be impressed by you they're gonna see you as a catch they're gonna see you as someone who keeps them on their toes and challenges them to be a better person um and they're just they're gonna they're gonna try to woo you they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try to woo you let's see what fragment goes with hmm so fragment and trap together, I almost feel like, God, what do I get from that reading? It's interesting. Hmm. I feel like they might have some damage, and I almost feel like they're wondering, like they might have some insecurity where they're like, because like I said, they're going to be eaten out of the palm of your hand, so they're kind of like, am I good enough for this person? Like, I feel like I'm so damaged by my exes about all the stuff I've been through. And they're going to kind of feel trapped in their head, but I do feel like they are going to make the effort to pursue you. Um, they might feel kind of invisible to you. I don't know if this is maybe someone that's like, again, I kind of get the, the energy of like a potential suitor. Um, who's just kind of watching you, and maybe they feel kind of... 
invisible to you if they if this is someone that you already know that's watching you maybe they feel like oh i don't have a chance with that girl and they're kind of scared um and there there's some differences there but despite all of it you are gonna you're probably gonna get a message from them they are probably gonna get reach out even though they're intimidated because they do know that you're different and that you're worthwhile so it's kind of like they're just i guess get this energy of them kind of watching you from afar um if that makes sense i hope that resonates I hope that makes sense to you. Let's pull some more cards just really quick. All right, what else do, do these viewers need to know about love? What do you guys need to know about love? You guys must be kind of goofy because I'm channeling, I swear I'm channeling all my goof. I'm a goofy person already, but I feel like I'm channeling, I'm feeling it with this reading. You have some really creative, free spirited energy. I like it. It's good. All right, what else can we get here? What do you need to know about it? Okay, Let's see what happens. Let's see what the cards want to say. Um. Surrender unhealthy relationships. So let go of relationships. That don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. And I feel like you've been doing that already. I really feel like you've... I feel like you've been doing this. And again, I, I remember I, saw, I said I saw the jealous, insecure, kind of bitter people around you, like the fake friends, that kind of energy. I feel like you're cutting it out, though. I feel like you've been cutting it out. I think you're going to continue to cut more of that out. And I feel like you're rising above it. I really do feel like you're above all the drama right now, all the, the people that are trying to hold you back. You're above it. And you see this masculine, too. It's kind of like he's... He's got a knife and he's got like this heart, like this fire. So this could be a fire sign that you're going to be meeting. Um, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you see like this fire. It's kind of like, you see the look on his face. It's someone that's like, it's been someone that's been hurt. So I feel like this man that's coming in has been hurt a lot before. He's, he's really going to be turned on by you though. He's going to be like, wow, this is different. I need to go for it. But he is going to be scared. He is going to be scared. Um, surrender comparisons with other people. So keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, your own attractiveness, and your own power. So again, the right person is going to love you for who you are. This person that either just came in or is about to come in, this person that's, that's, they're noticing you. I see them watching you. So for some of you, they're actually watching you like at work or at the store or in your apartment complex or like, um, at school or some environment that you guys are both in. Or they're watching you in the astral realm and you guys are telepathically aware of each other and they're about to come into the physical realm in the very near future. Um, and so it's saying, you know, surrender. Don't compare yourself to other people because this person is going to love everything about you. The right person is going to love everything about you that, like, you didn't think anyone could love. Like your goofiness and your creativity and your passion and that free-spirited, silly just unique energy that you have your your will your courage your you're you're just a very courageous very out of the box thinker and and this person that's right for you is going to love that and be so turned on by that so it's saying stick with that ignore the haters ignore the jealous people cut them out keep cutting them out keep letting go of the past keep letting go of the exes and all the bullshit and um and being completely true to yourself, unapologetically true. I mean, like, if you want to wear corset dresses outside, go wear corset dresses outside. That is that is the kind of energy I'm talking about. Because you're gonna you're gonna do that, and someone's gonna see you and be like, "Holy shit, she's so different than anybody I've ever seen." Like, no one is willing to do that. No one is willing. No one is brave like that. No one dresses like that. No one is like. You know what I mean? Like, no one's that creative. No one's that different. Like, wow, this person is different. Like, the right person is gonna be so thrilled by that and so like caught off guard in such a good way by it so again just be your true unapologetic self stick to that energy surrender your attachment to results um the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the result so holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it so i think that's for for you for those of you that are doing um like witchcraft or whatever you're doing to or just like a vision board or affirmations visualizations binarial beats whatever it is you're doing to manifest this this 
this wonderful energy that's finally about to manifest in your life, this love, it's saying like, make sure you don't get too focused on the results. Just like enjoy the process, like enjoy the passion, enjoy where you're at in this moment and surrender to your full power. So your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than, rather than playing it small. Look at this. It's like an Amazon queen with her lion. She's just, she knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She is not afraid of anything or anyone. She is just confident and raw and in her power um, and creative and weird and just she's she's just her true self like she does not give a shit what society thinks and it's so beautiful and it's gonna turn on the right right person together it's gonna turn the right on the right person and he's gonna be coming to you and you're just gonna have this weird unique creative life together it's gonna be awesome um, surrender your addictions so it could be food sex people overworking um, it says, you know, take the t take the action and time to, to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So this could be drinking and drugs, but for a lot of you, I feel like it's just maybe like you might be like a bit of an overworker. At times, you might get kind of stressed. So whatever's whatever you still feel is holding you back, like take off the mask too. It's like you're being called to be your true self, like you've never been yourself before. Um, surrender worry, you know, trust in this trust this energy. Don't like don't. Don't get bogged down by it. Don't get bogged down by the haters. You know, surrender worry. Um, it says, make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them in and out of your breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart, the power of your heart, and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So know that you're not alone. I feel like sometimes you're like. Like, oh, did I say too much? Did I do too much? Am I too much? Was that too extreme? And it's like, no, it's not. It's your guides are there and they're egging you on. You're like, you're good. Be yourself. Surrender fear. Don't let anything hold you back. Let go of the fearful stories that you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Um, so, so yeah, for your person, I, I wish I could have gotten some more energy on who they are exactly. But again, I just see someone who's going to be so turned on by you being yourself. And they're, they're not going to try to hold you back. They're not going to, they're going to love how weird you are. They're going to love that about you. They're going to love how unique and creative and beautiful you are inside or out. So, so it's kind of reminds me of that poem, of that poem, um, what, how, how, I can't remember it. It's like they search for, for, have you guys heard that pun? They search for blue their whole lives through and they, oh my god, I sound like such an idiot because I don't know the fucking palm. Um, and I'm trying to say it. <laughs> it. It's basically about two people that wear these masks and they pretend in order to make other people happy and, and to, you know, do what's socially acceptable and whatnot. And, and they're at this party and they they they're soulmates and they don't notice each other because they're both wearing masks they're both pretending to be something they're not they're both sitting there you know holding back and not saying the things that they want to say not doing the things that they want to do and so these two soulmates can't recognize that they're right in front of each other because they're just they're so concerned about what other people think and so it's like not nah, take off the masks say that thing you want to say do that thing you want to do just be your raw creative self um and again, again, yeah, this person is going to be so thrilled by that. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Um, if it's the right person, they're just, they're going to be all about it. They're going to just love you for you. Um, and I, I do see someone who's very, um, very charming and sweet. I see, I don't know why I keep seeing the business suit. So for a lot of you, this might be someone at work or someone that like owns or business or like someone who like works in a business or likes to wear suits or something, but he's not like a... He's not like a boring businessman type. Like, don't get it wrong. He's not like that. It's more like he just, maybe it's like a metaphor kind of saying like, oh, like he has to like go to work and, and survive and do all this. But like, you're going to be his safe space where he can just like let loose and just be his true self. Um, it's kind of someone like who doesn't get a chance to be themselves as much as they would like to. It's like they see you and they're like, wow, like they're so inspired by you they're like how is this person doing that like how are they you know what I mean like you're just so different so creative and, and they're just they're kind of just like watching you like oh wow like how did <laughs> like I wish I could be like that and and you're gonna inspire them to be you're gonna bring out the best in each other so it's it's really good energy and again you're a manifester and you've manifested this life for yourself so own it own it own it own it thank you for watching bye guys